Hello, happy Wednesday afternoon. I have sat down and planned out my meals and now I will share with you how I did it. Um, and my son actually helped me this week plan my meals. And what makes me the happiest of all, he asked me, he's like, mom, where are your cards at? And he pulled the meals from the cards. Look at that. Even, even an almost 13 year old can use the meal planning cards. They're so easy to use. All right, let's get to it. Let me share my screen. So the first thing I do is I pop open um, my meal plan template. If you go into the What's Working Here website and go to the resource library, you can download the um, meal plan um, templates from there. And then also, if you're interested in getting the meal plan cards, if you scroll down on the website, on any page because it's just on the sidebar, you can go to the color combo meal cards and you can get a copy of the meal cards. It has lots of different um, meal ideas and snack ideas and that's where all of this week's menu came from so you can uh, grab a copy of those by clicking on that so i open up my meal plan template right now i am following um, portion fix time nutrition i am um, we're getting ready for a vacation in march that i'm really excited about so want to uh, feel my best for vacation so kind of trying to rein it in and I've got to say, this week I haven't done that great, <laughs> that great on, um, I had some pretzels earlier, which really are not on the list until refeed day, but that's okay. We mess up, we move on. All right, so um, the first thing I do is put in the dates and anything we have going on. We've got a soccer tournament this weekend that we'll be out of town for. So I um, have that on Sunday, which means I was trying to figure out the timing and we're not sure when we'll get home on Sunday, so I figured you know what, we'll just go ahead and leave it as uh, open. We can grab something on the way home and, and eat that for Sunday. And then put in any other things like soccer practice, um, different appointments or things that you might have, just so that you know, um, like tomorrow I plan on going into the office, which I usually work from home, so going into the office is a big deal. <laughs> so I put that on the list to make sure that I know like, oh, I'll probably eat out since I'll be in the office tomorrow. Um, and just so, um, just so you know, so you can plan around those things and you don't plan on a, a big meal, uh, cooking a big meal when it's your night to drive carpool for soccer practice and that type of thing. So I put all those in and then I start at the top with meal one and my meal one is always my Shakeology. So, um, I copy and paste that down for, um, the week. I might bring some packets with us, it just kind of depends. The hotel does have breakfast and generally um, I think um, they have some pretty some decent choices like eggs and turkey sausage and yogurt and those types of things. So we'll see, um, but it's always good to kind of bring it just in case. And then, um, so yeah, so I've, I'm counting on there being some good things uh, for, for breakfast. If not, I can always supplement later. Um, as I need to and then I'm probably um, I've kind of packed some carrots and hummus and grapes it's an easy thing to kind of pack um, we'll can put it in a cooler and I don't know if we'll have a fridge or not that type of thing so that's what I've packed for the weekend so meal one always my Shakeology meal two I pick two of those for the week and then I alternate them so I don't think I made either of these <laughs> this week I still had some bagels left over from last week um, and so I've been eating those still and I really enjoyed them and some uh, like turkey sausage. So I've been eating those instead. So um, I'm going to leave the two um, meal twos, my two breakfasts that I've planned for the week. Um, I'm going to leave those. And so I just pick two of those and then alternate them. And this happens a lot um, with my meal planning. And I'm, I'm sure if you meal plan as well, we will put something on the list and then you just don't feel like eating it. And that's okay. <laughs> so save it, freeze it, whatever you need to do so that you can roll it over to the next week and it just makes planning that much easier the next week. So that's what I am doing with that. And then the next thing I do, so meal three is usually lunch. I make sure I have the stuff on hand to make like a salad or a sandwich. And then during the week, um, whatever we have the night before, we have for leftovers um, the next day for lunch. So then meal four is my kind of like afternoon snack. And like I said, I was gonna pack that for our trip. And then um, 
I picked, so I actually went, I put some carrots and then peaches and pecans, not eating them all together, but I will eat my carrots. And then um, I really like, it's supposed to be cold this week. So I really like um, if you heat up some peaches, sprinkle them with a little bit of cinnamon and then put some pecans in there and put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. It tastes so good. Um, I think I have a link to that. I'll link to that for you. But it tastes kind of like a cobbler. You can do with blueberries. That works really well too. Pears. It's all really good. So I wanted some, some warm afternoon snacks. So I put that there and then I'm going to alternate those for the week. And then I went to the cards myself to pick another um, meal for snack. A, a, what is that? Green, blue, and purple. So I picked out the mozzarella tomato melt. And um, I link to it here. It's actually in my um, blue green recipe list that I have as well. Just cut half a tomato, put some mozzarella on top of it, put it in, um, put it under the broiler for like I don't know three or four minutes till it kind of get melts, and then I'll just have an apple with that for um, for my purple. So I've got those for the week. So now all I have left. See, that was really quick. Get those get those main things out of the way. And now all I have left is dinner. So I'm leaving that open on Sunday, which means I'll have a salad or sandwich on Monday. And I'll probably schedule a grocery pickup um, for Monday. So just making notes to myself. Um, and then my son, I'd asked him, what do you want? And he said, I don't know. He's into a, a very healthy kick right now, which is great. He's always asked me, mom, are these healthy? Is this healthy? So, um, Again, not that we're like neurotic about it or anything like that. Um, like I said, we just had some pretzels and all sorts of different things like that. Um, so he went to, he's like, let me see your cards. I was like, I didn't even know he knew about the cards. So this made me so happy. So he picked out um, three card, three meals for the week. And so the first one that he picked is the turkey sloppy joes, which he's like, is that healthy? It's like, yes, it's a fixate recipe. So um, this one is really quick, easy to make. Um, you can use raw ground turkey breast or you can use uh, uh, lean ground meat, either one. And then, um, so on the back of the cards, it tells you all of the different ingredients that you need, which helps you make your grocery list. And then it says to serve it on top of like a whole grain bread, like um, an Ezekiel or something like that. So that's the first night and then that becomes lunch the next day. The next meal, so the next card he pulled out was tilapia with kale, and it's a T25 recipe um, from that T25 fitness program. So if you go into BOD, you can find the T25 program materials and you'll find the recipe. Um, he doesn't really like tilapia, and my husband doesn't really like tilapia anymore, so I told him, I was like, well, we could do salmon instead. So we actually, I changed it to the teriyaki salmon, and then I'm going to do it um, with some rice noodles, and then... Usually, so when I first started making it, I made it with snap peas, but lately the snap peas just haven't been very good. So um, then I started doing it with mixed vegetables and that's pretty good. And then when I run out of mixed vegetables, I just grab my baby spinach, which is kind of like my go-to vegetable to always have on hand, um, some baby spinach and then drizzle it with a little, tea, a little bit of um, toasted, toasted sesame oil. That is delicious, that is so good. So I asked him, I was like, do you want mixed vegetables or do you want uh, spinach? And he said spinach. So I'm gonna do that probably with a little drizzle of the toasted sesame oil as my teaspoon and then some sesame seeds for my orange. That's gonna be really good. All right, so then that becomes lunch the next day. And then the next card he pulled was hamburger on wheat bun with a side salad with dressing. So that gets you your orange container as well. So just, um, he's actually into turkey burgers right now. So um, we had those, um, we usually have those right before Thanksgiving. And so he's into those. So we'll probably do that with a whole wheat bun. So um, one yellow is just half a bun. So, but it, it's actually kind of, you would think, so if you're used to having a whole like two buns with your hamburger, you're probably like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But really, if you cut the bun in half and then put it top and bottom, then there's lots of meat for every <laughs> for every bite, and you're not just sometimes I don't know if you get a hamburger and like the meat's really tiny, and then there's too much bun, and you end up like peeling off all the bun. So I just cut my bun in half. 
and then put that top and bottom and then you end up having um, lots of extra. And then we'll do a salad with that on the side and then that will become lunch the next day. And then on Thursdays we have leftovers. Friday I leave kind of a placeholder. It ends up being either more leftovers or a salad or sandwich. And then we usually um, order out or eat out on Saturday, on Friday and Saturday nights. So that's kind of how I put my meal plan together for this week. I am very, very glad that my son wanted to use the cards. So that was fun and it made it really simple. Um, and it kind of gave him some ideas. So, cause when I first asked him, what, what do you want to eat? I don't know. And if you ask my husband, what do you want to eat next week? Food really helpful guys really helpful so it's always helpful the past couple weeks i've been popping open old um old uh 80 day obsession meal plans that i used way back and so i actually popped open a couple of those and read some things off and i was like we don't we don't really like any of those recipes anymore so that's when he was like let me have the cards and so that helped us uh, jog our memory from ideas and even if it's not exactly like we pulled the tilapia card but we decided to let it inspire us to have um, salmon instead. So that's what's on our meal plan this week. If you have questions about meal planning or need help with your meal plan, please reach out and I'm happy to help. Have a great week.